Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I am here with the most wonder topic that is how can we do the genuinity now? So all will have many doubts regarding this topic. How can we do the genuinity? Can we do it online or offline or we have to visit any office for doing that? Like many doubts you will have, all the answers I will explain surely but you should watch the video till the end. Then only you will get all the answers and I will surely explain the step by step process of genuinity. What are the requirements for doing the genuinity? Can a person who is in the visit visa can do the genuinity? How much time it will take to get the genuinity? So today we will discuss about the step by step process of the application of the genuinity through the site of Kudra Bay. Many of you were thinking we should depend on someone else to do this process. But actually we don't want to depend anyone else for doing this genuinity process. We can do it from our home, from our system or from our phone. It's so easy process and it will take maximum half an hour. In Ministry of Education sites, they have given two online sites to do the genuinity. Dataflow and Kudra Bay. In how can we do the genuinity through data flow that's already described in my previous video. So today I will discuss about how can we do the genuinity through Kudra Bay. Now let's check how to do this genuinity process. First, we have to open the Google Chrome tab. There, we have to type equivalency MOE. Here you can see recognition of university certificate issued from outside of UAE. You have to click on this link. So it will direct us to the site of Ministry of Education. Here you can see the option recognition of university certificates issued from outside UAE. And you can see the steps required documents and the trusted partners. All these things you can see here. So here I am going to click the option degree verification from a trusted partner. So genuinity is the verification document that we have to get. So here you can see two options Kudra Bay and data, data flow. So these are the MOE's trusted partners where we can do the genuinity process. So here I am going to select Kudra Bay because I have already short, uh, described in another video how to do the genuinity process through data flow. So here I am going to click on the Kudra Bay link. So now our Kudra Bay site is going to open. So we will reach the Kudra Bay site and we can start the process. Now we have reached the Kudra Bay site. Here you can see the first step process of this verification. So first one is personal information, education details, then upload the certificates or documents, then summary and authorization. Then last one is payment. And nowadays the UA pass is updated everywhere. So he, we have to sign it by using the UAE pass and if you don't have the UAE pass, they have given the option, they have given the steps how to download a UAE pass and all. So that also you can see here. So I have already my UAE pass. So I am going to log in by using UA pass. Here you can enter Emirates ID number or your registered mobile number or your mail ID. So here I am using my mobile number to log in. So when we are entering the mobile number, we will get a notification in our UA pass application. So we have to go to the UA pass application, open it and we have to confirm that we ourselves opening this site. Then only we can log into the site. This is my profile it's already created that's why you can see my previous application actually it's in draft because i didn't apply that time so i'm going to delete that application and we can start the new application now now we can click the option start a new application so 
by clicking in that we can start the verification process so here you can see the options uh, or the columns which we have to fill so the first one is where did you study so the uh, country name will be listed in the below uh, listed in below so you can choose the, your own country which country you have passed out so i have passed out my uh, degree from india so i am uh, selecting republic of india and which university did you go so sometimes your university will not be listed in this so you can click the box now others and you can type your university name so my university name is not listed here so i am clicking on the box and and typing my university name next one is what is your area of study or which subject you have learned mine was english language and literature so i chose that and the next column you have to fill the uh, year which you started your study and year which you ended your study so the date approximate date we can give because we will not remember the exact date so the year should be prompt so here i am entering the uh, starting date and ending date of my studies so next they will ask that you have a do you have a verification document of for your bachelor's degree sometimes maybe you will have a verification document from any other trusted partners of uh, moe so if you have that you can click yes otherwise you can click no and you can start the application when you are giving this that i don't have a verification document so i click no and you can see your package how much it will cost and here it's so showing that Uh, you will have to pay three hundred and forty five AD for doing this process. So here I am starting the application. Before that, we can check once more. That is, where did you study, and which university did you go, which uh, which um, like degree you achieved, and what's the area of study. Then, when did you start and complete your degree? Then do you have a verification document? Just confirm all these things, and you can just click start now. process is please fill the personal details so i have already logged in by using my ue pass so almost all the details are already came my um, name is there then you have to type your email address then your country of residence like uh, not country of residence your nationality you have to type then are you a resident visitor or applying from outside ue this you have to type so that means if you are a visitor or if you are not residing in ue also you can do this process so i am a resident so i am typing resident then phone number then you have to type the emirates id number you have to enter the emirates id number then upload your emirates id so and when we are trying to upload the emirates id they are showing a, uh, like a warning that we have to uh, do the correct correct emirates id we have to upload the correct one so otherwise it will make some problems for you so we we can give we can click on okay and we can browse the emirates id from our system and we can upload it after uploading emirates id next one is we have to upload the passport page my emirates id is uploaded already so i am moving to the next section that is passport details so there also we can upload the passport page from our system uh, we can browse it from our system and we can upload it here so sometimes the system may not be able to read the passport properly so that situation we have to type the details manually and uh, here you can see that uh, my passport is they are not able to read my passport so i have to enter the details manually so here i have to it's already uploaded but i have to enter the details all the details manually so first one is date of birth i have to enter the date of birth then next one is gender the next one is passport number and the expiry date we have to enter all these details manually next option is passport issuing country and the country of birth that also you can choose from the options then after finishing this you can click the next button it will direct us to the next page
so now our personal information is updated successfully so we are moving to the next step so the next one is we have to give the details about our studies so next we are going to fill out the information regarding that so here in this page you have to update all the details regarding the your certificate or your course so first uh, which university did you go if your university is not listed you can uh, click on that dialog box and you can type your university name then where did you learn what is your area of study and the country which exam was held and when is your exam when is your course started and when did your course end at ended and the mode of study if it is open university or full time on com campus or distance or whatever may be it you have to choose the correct option and next one is what was the title of your degree so mine is bachelor's in uh, education or because i am doing bed degree or if it is bachelor's in arts you can type bachelor's in art or bachelor's in technology or whatever may be that you have to type the title of your degree next one is what is your who is your employment authority so my employment authority is moi so i am typing moi and we can click the next button here so by clicking to the next button we are moving to the next step of the process so that is upload the documents upload the required documents here we have to upload the university degree or the graduation certificates and university transcripts these two are required fields that means without transcripts we are not able to upload our uh, or we are not able to apply for this process so these two are mandatory and next one is any other documents any other supporting documents sometimes your name change will be there isn't it so that kind of situation we have to upload the marriage certificate or something like that my all the documents are uploaded so i am going to click uh, here if you want to check any previous things you can click the go back button and go and check or if all things are confirmed or you are sure that you entered all things correctly you can click the next button so next is application summary they will show all the details that we we have given here and you can check all those things once again and confirm that is it entered correctly or not personal details some right side number gender date of birth passport details and our certificate details all things will be shown here so you can recheck and you can confirm that all things are entered correctly so details of the degree to be recognized you can see here so after checking all these things we have to give the authorization letter to the kudra bay site for doing this process so their terms and conditions are already given here you can read out it clearly it's given in detail take enough time and read it and understand after that we can accept the terms and conditions then we can proceed so after clicking the next button next is authorization letter that also we can give we have to give so when we are opening that we can see that the uh, we can see the authorization authorization letter and the below we can see a column to give the digital signature of yours so you can do the sign there and you can save it after that you can move to the payment section all my processes are successful and all the things updated correctly so here they are showing the payment summary so in this they are showing ad 225 and ad 120 total 362 uh, i think uh, it's showing like that so um, here after checking all these things you can click on this box and uh, if you want to track your like uh, certificate you can click on this box and agree and continue and you can move to the payment section there by using your credit card you can do the payment before doing all these things please check carefully and please do it carefully actually my genuinity was done via data flow this process i just did it for uh, like uh, doing this video and uh, 
any official doubts if you have you can contact the site directly or you can visit their office and you can clear it out okay thank you in the beginning of the video i have given you many questions like how can we do the genuinity do we have to be a resident or in the visit visa like that so actually a person who is in the visit visa or outside the uae also can do the genuinity and we need to for doing the genuinity usually most of us are doing the genuinity of our graduation for a teaching job because the basic requirement of our teaching job is the graduation a 3 year or 4 year graduation so we can we should need the graduation certificate and all its transcripts every semesters we cannot miss out any semesters transcript for doing this genuinity process many of you will have a doubt that how much time it will take to get the genuinity usually in their site it's mentioned that we will take a 30 working days to get the genuinity certificate but it will surely depend on the year you passed and the university depending upon that it will vary sometimes we will get it so fast and sometimes it will take more time now i hope all of you understood the steps clearly and i think now you can do it so easily from your home from your system it's so easy it will take very less time and you can do it properly